Welcome to the weekly yap session where I am like this and you all are here too. Um, okay, this is, I, I did promise in the title to give you tips for improving your jumps really fast. Um, the first one, stretch. Be very kind to your body. It's gonna do amazing things, but you have to be amazing to it first. The second one is to start doing squat jumps. Uh, with weight, without weight, whatever. I'd recommend starting without weight at first. Just start squatting and then jumping. That's essentially what the base movement is. And then anything you can do to help with push-up motions. Even if you yourself cannot do a push-up, you can start lifting weights or doing modified push-ups um, to get yourself the strength to finish the motion of a jump. There are three parts to a jump the takeoff, the mid-air, and the landing. And really, the muscles that are engaged are your legs for the takeoff, your core for the mid-air, and your arms for the landing. And you need to take care of all of those things if you're gonna get sort of anywhere. And also, you need to be good at running and then planting your feet at the same time. It seems really simple, but it's true. You just gotta start running and then plant your feet and stand straight up. Don't jump, just do it. Trust me, once you build that like physical habit in your own brain, you'll get there. Okay, now we start to yap about the things that I like because I'm silly. So I have this AP research paper that I get to write because uh, that's a class I'm taking. And what I want to do is cross analyze in the, in the evolutionary like fossil record there we go um the fossil record for moths like luna moths um well actually it's a, a series of families in the saturnid or silk moth family um ooh, these are the fun parts um the silk moth family of moths they're kind of fluffy but they're unique in that they build themselves a cocoon instead of using their bodies to create a chrysalis. And um, <laughs> these are weighted jumps, by the way. It looks really weird, but th there's a weight. See, um, the, the moths have, they tend to have these certain structures like ripples or folds or valleys on the corner of their wings or really long hind wing tails. Like uh, if you look up Actius Luna, uh, the Luna moth, it has some of the longest uh, wing tails and these are very very loud <laughs> and bats hunt using sound moths are nocturnal so they get eaten the most by bats um, but essentially it creates these loud spots that attract the attention of the bat and not the vital parts of the body um, but what's interesting is that instead of making themselves quieter like stealth moth like the sphinx moths did they made themselves a lot louder, and you can actually hear them flying, usually, in the human hearing range, which is really, really interesting to me, and I'm very excited to uh, dig into the research on that. Also, um, I'm going to rant a little bit about the play Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare, because I'm a nerd and also in that play. Um, I think the play overall has some very very funny silly guy moments to it uh spoilers for the 500 year old play um they end up tricking this guy into wearing stockings and garters like cross gartered and yellow stockinged is literally the phrase that keeps it's the motif um and he he has a crush on <laughs> one of the main characters um, and they, they trick him into thinking that if he wears these certain outfits and he starts to smile, because he never smiles, that that character will love him, and then he ends up being locked up for being clinically insane, honestly, makes a lot of sense, um, but he, he just, he never gets justice, like, he just he just is sad by the end of it it's a little bit wild to me that like that's just the, how the play ends 
he's just upset that people tricked him and everyone's like well you're still crazy my dude um okay this is a 10 minute video and i'm five minutes in and i'm just yapping Ooh, ooh. okay this is my pike stretch it's getting slightly farther forward we're doing good we're doing good i didn't even include wednesday's hour and a half i spent jumping around on the trampoline for fun um rather than do a concerted workout because those are for losers i don't know um <laughs> i i really did enjoy that day um ooh, a pumpkin and then okay the footage here is really dark and sad looking but that's just natural lighting combined with very little light um you'll see like it light up and flash that's because my dad was watching something and i didn't want to disturb him i love my father um yes i do have a father father reveal whoa i'm not fatherless yeah <laughs> all the art i do it's because he exists um my dad's an artist and so am i we are like this um father's all the way back up the tree even that's impressive yeah the main uh, exercises I'm focusing on here are strength and mobility like getting myself to have enough reps to keep going and um, I'm starting to lift I'm still on the 12s not yet to the 15s but that's okay I'll just take it at whatever pace I want to because it's my body and my physical activity, and as long as I'm doing it, hey yo, good for my health. Um, yeah, these are just 12 pound weights. Um, you want to kind of be consistent with it, at least. I definitely do it on uh, Sundays, the days that I post, so that I actually edit the video and get it out on time, so that I have motivation. Um, there's a lot of jumping back and forth. That's just getting myself to pick up my feet and think about it. And then I moved outside. Um, wow, to the outside world. I was just working on form, trotting around, moving, getting myself to think about, you know, where the power is coming from. Um, ooh, sad little handstand. I was very excited because um, I'm starting to bounce back and I'm very happy with that because uh, I... I was very, very weak about a week ago, and I'm getting better. Like, I, I can feel myself getting stronger again. I can do more. I've got the energy. I can, um, I don't need to, like, constantly be dying every time I move. It's a lot better. Um, <laughs> so many squat jumps. And then some tricep pulls, because we love our bodies here. Um... Take care of your body it'll take care of you but i can i can feel my breath control coming back like my lung capacity i can i'm getting stronger i'm jumping higher i feel a lot better this week it's some some major gains some major dubs um have have happened this week and i'm very excited and very happy it's, it's going well we're going good it's it's good it's a good time um and then we start the cool down. Hooray! Remember to always cool down after you work out so that your body uh, is not tense and you remain limbered up. As much as you have to stretch at the beginning, you also have to stretch at the end. Um, unless you're doing choir, in which case <laughs> you warm up your voice to sing and then you're just warmed up vocally for like the rest of the day. I don't know. As long as you keep using your voice, you will stay warmed up. Um, yay, I really like these yap videos. I don't know if you can tell. I have a lot of fun making them and they're utterly unscripted, which makes them even more fun to film. Um, I really enjoy it. Here are the pretty flowers of this week. Remember to fuel your body for doing good things. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.